All right, number one, here we go. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four, one. Two and a three, four and a 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 Four and a one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four and a one, two and a three, four and a three. Some things to point out. So, going from the D minor over A to the G5. Notice how you're using the same frets. Kind of just taking the chord and flipping it around there. And then when you go from D minor over A to the C over G, the index finger stays down. It just slides down one fret. Just change the other two fingers. Then going from the C over G to the F5, ring finger is an anchor, anchor finger. It doesn't move. Going back to the... C over, uh, no, it doesn't do that. I was going to say C over G back to the D minor array, but that does not happen. Anyway, so C over G, in the F5, the ring finger stays down, back to C over G, F5, tied up, and flip that shape over again. So, just think pointing that stuff out might help make this a bit easier to play. All right, let's go to 100 next. Or, yeah, it's 200. One, two, and a three, four, and a one. 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 Two, and a three. I said this for the last thing you did or not I, because of how many bars we have uh, just play through it twice when it's time to add in uh, repeat stuff yeah, just play through it twice and yeah, some people are trying to play through this thing several times while also forming a thought to share but yeah I think that's best for this this week for this amount of material or how many bars we have just play through it twice once you reach that higher speed. So, all right, so here we go. Just two times through. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's 
go to number two. Same idea. Just play it twice through once you reach that uh, time to add in repeat. All right, so for these chords, so try to make some fairly convenient changes again. So D5 over A to the G minor over the B flat. So your index finger is already barring the five. Just got to adjust it a little bit to uh, go from the E and A string to the A and D string. So we've got still barring the same frets. And then down into that guy, shifting the index finger down two frets, and then changing the middle finger from the ring finger. And then here, almost like doing that switch between the D minor over A to the G5. But now, a little bit different, but similar. So C5 over, no, F over A to the C5 over G. So we don't want to use the ring finger for that note again. Still use the pinky. So here to that. F over A to the C5 over G. So actually it is exactly like, kind of confused myself there. I was thinking of a, the wrong chord. Um, but yeah, we're the 5-3-3. Three, three. We flip it over to the 3-3-5. Three, three, but we still want to use the pinky for that higher notes. And then F5, same anchor finger as before for the C over G. E minor over A. So a little bit of the previous example, or the previous progression happening at the end of this guy. All right, so be careful with your strumming. Here we go, 60. One, two, three, four. One and a two, three and a four. One, two and a three, four and a one and a two. Three and a four, one, two and a three, four and a one and a two, three and a four, one, two and a three, four and a one and a two, three and a four, one, two and a three, four and a. All right, one hundred next. One, two, three, four. Alright, 
any questions come up, let me know. I will see you again next week.